If you're looking to improve your Madden 16 game, be sure to stop by MaddenXO.com. There you're going to find the best ebooks on the market, both offensive and defensive. $10 a month gets you access to every single one of their ebooks now through the remainder of this season and on into Madden 17 as well. Again, guys, MaddenXO.com. The link will be in the description. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. And guys, yeah, if you can't tell, my voice does sound a little bit weird right now. Um, hopefully it will last me through this video. If you guys don't know, I, I've been tweeting about it a little bit. I actually lost my voice earlier this week. I was sick, had laryngitis, lost my voice. So uh, yeah, it's been a little bit of a pain this week. I haven't been able to do anything video wise because literally like I couldn't even talk hardly. So um, now that my voice is starting to get a little bit better, I am gonna try and gut it through this video for you guys. And for me as well, because this beautiful bastard of a card is in packs right now. Guys, we have golden ticket Deion Sanders. If you don't know, guys, Deion Sanders is one of my absolute favorite players of all time. And, of course, the fact that it's the Cowboys Deion makes it even better. I'm a Cowboys fan. So, we're going to try and pull this Deion Sanders. I haven't had great luck this year with packs, but you know what, man? This is a great time to try and pull, I feel like. I mean, there's, there's definitely good stuff in packs right now. So, I, I feel like it's a good time for us to try and pull and try and get this Deion. Um... So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go in here and we're going to actually just pull. I'm going to I'm going to go with 200K worth of pro packs. So hopefully we can get through this video. It might be a little bit of a long one, but hopefully we can get through this video and uh, it'll be fun. Hopefully you guys have good luck trying to pull for your own Deion Sanders. Um, if we pull him before we get to 200K, obviously, um, you know, that would be amazing. But I, I highly doubt that's going to happen. We haven't really had great luck with packs this year. But, uh, oh, not with points. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Anything decent. Come on. I would just, you know what? I would really just love to pull, like, something that has some good value. You know, obviously, like, the Dion is, like, the pie-in-the-sky type of thing that we really want to pull. But, I mean, it's so unlikely that you're going to pull a golden ticket. It just, oh, my goodness. And right as I say that, we get a legend card but it's just a legend collectible. It's for Derek Brooks, who is one of my favorite legends. But that scared the absolute crap out of me right there. Not the legend pull that we were looking for. We're looking for that golden ticket, Dion. But still, definitely something at least. So uh, hopefully we can get continue up uh, and get some more of those elite pulls. <clears throat> and maybe eventually get ourselves this golden ticket, Dion. So um, I want to hear from you guys as well. What other golden tickets do you guys think there are going to be? Leave those in the comments section below. I've, I've heard quite a few different rumors. Um, I did hear that Calvin Johnson was going to be a card. And I think it was just going to be like an upgraded wide receiver version of Calvin this year. I don't know if EA told people that they couldn't actually make the out of position players. Because you guys know in previous years there were a lot of Calvin Johnson free safety cards. Which in my opinion were some of the absolute best cards in the game. Um... But I think that EA actually, I, I heard a rumor that EA told people that this year they couldn't do the out of position cards for golden tickets. So if that rumor is true, and uh, and then the other rumor was that somebody was trying to make just then a, a standard Calvin Johnson wide receiver, like an upgraded version of his, of his uh, Ultimate Legend card, and they weren't able to do it because Calvin actually retired from the NFL this year, um, which then changed the rights on his... Uh, on his cards or something like that i'm not exactly sure how that works um maybe he's only under the the collective bargaining agreement for content that's created or i guess i guess he's maybe i guess all the stuff that gets made about him could only be you know made while he's under the collective bargaining agreement and then uh once he retires he's no longer in that so teams can't or so like games and like the the team itself like the lions couldn't produce more calvin johnson jerseys and stuff like that i'm not exactly sure how that legal mumbo jumbo works in this case i mean he did retire in the off season as well so that probably changes things too but even even still um I feel like there were still cards made for guys that retired in previous years. Like, wasn't there an Ed Reed golden ticket the year that he retired? Or am I wrong? I, maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know. Let me know, guys, in the comments section below. How does that work? Because the per there was a person that on Reddit said that they pulled a golden ticket. And uh, there wasn't really any controversy about that, that he pulled a golden ticket. 
people seem to believe that he pulled the golden ticket, but, um, like, then, then he said that he, they didn't let him make a Calvin Johnson, so then he decided that he was going to actually go ahead and make a Rob Gronkowski, which should still be a really beastly card, but at the same time, like, it seems really weird that they would have not allowed him to make an out-of-position Calvin, and then they wouldn't allow him to make a Calvin at all, so I don't know how that works, but uh, if you guys know, let me know in the comments section below, because I'm interested in knowing if you guys have made it this far in the video anyway. Uh, and guys, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. I don't normally sp uh, sound this bad, trust me. Like, I might not have, like, the most beautiful, you know, uh, Barry Manilow type voice or anything like that, but at the same time, I don't normally sound this wheezy and awful, so just... Bear with me through this video, and I promise you guys, it'll get better in the future, <laughs> and we get a Bruce Irvin there. So, not a whole lot of great pulls. I think we only have that one Elite so far, and we've gone through over 100,000 coins worth of packs so far. That's just this game this year, man. Like, you still can't even pull base Elites, it feels like. It's just brutal. Now, granted, we're getting a lot of, of random cards here to put into to pack or to, into sets for, like, you know, doing um, large quick sells and things like that, but... Man, it just seems so brutal that that you would be able to do 200,000 coins or over 100,000 coins in this case of cards. And really, you got one elite and it was only a collectible. So I don't know, man. Pack odds are still just ass cheeks, it feels like in this game. I don't know what the deal is. And we finally get another elite. It's Ali Marpet. Let's see here. He's a right guard. It's an all rookie card. Not the best pull ever, but at least it's an elite. At least it'll pay for the pack. I mean, that's... Uh, it's kind of funny because that's probably the only pack that we've had where we've actually made a profit so far. And we're, what, 135,000 coins in. So that just goes to tell you, man, how, how bad of luck you have in some of these packs. But um, we're not going to do a Game Changer pack because I've been told by people that, especially with the Game Changers and the really expensive ones, it's really, really not worth it to open those with, uh, with coins. So we're not going to do that. I might end up doing a bundle. We'll see depending on what they do as far as uh, legends and golden tickets over the next couple of days because um, I think that this this bundle goes out of the game on Monday if I remember correctly and um, so that should mean that there will be a new at least one new golden ticket player that is in packs so we'll have to see what happens with that um, but there, there will probably be another one tomorrow I think when I say tomorrow I'm saying this at late at night on Friday night so um, there will probably be a new golden ticket in packs tomorrow, as well as I've heard um, a couple of new Ultimate Legends that are supposed to be pretty beastly. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what comes out of that. I heard that there's going to be a really good running back. I think Mutt Guru tweeted about that earlier. So uh, if there's another really good running back, could be it could be um, pretty interesting to see what happens as far as the prices on running backs go. Um, I, we've seen that there's going to be a golden ticket Bo Jackson. We saw that because of mobile. Um, so... You know, definitely there's going to be a change at some point in the Ultimate Team running back prices. I don't know how much they're going to change as far as, like, the elite top-end guys. But, I mean, you can only have so many 99 overall running backs before some of them start to drop in price, you know. And especially with guys like Bo Jackson and uh, Barry Sanders, Marshawn Lynch, and guys that are, that are really, you know, well-liked in the community it's a pretty good chance that, that some of these guys uh, that come out, you know, whether there's an Emmett Smith or, or cards like that, they're probably going to drop quite a bit in price if they do come out with an ultimate legend of those players. Now, granted, Emmett Smith's my favorite player of all time, so I'd be totally happy having, having a 99 Emmett Smith, but I know a lot of other people just don't really like Emmett that much for whatever reason. But, all right, guys, we are down to the final pack. Basically, what, two elites in this entire BS pack opening video i hope you guys enjoyed it anyway though be sure to like comment subscribe guys let's go ahead and open this final pro pack wish me luck hopefully there's a golden ticket dion in here we're gonna do the reveal all cheese here we go reveal all cheese come on baby and absolutely nothing unfortunately so there you have it guys that is it that is the final pack of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it again guys if you did do me a favor click that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new i'm gonna try and do some more videos over the weekend guys i'm gonna try and gut my way through them 
Uh, again, my voice, it's just, it's really bothering me. Maybe it's not as bad for you guys, but like internally in my head, it's just really bothering me right now. So thank you guys so much for sticking through me, uh, sticking through it with me. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks guys. Hope you have good luck opening packs yourselves and I'll talk to you guys again soon.